This is Ben Peterson. I'm making a public notice and warning to my readers of the Wood Gas Fire Builders Bible. Business Off Grid 48 is manufacturing illegal, unmarked, unlicensed wood gas fire knockoffs in their Deer Park, Washington assembly shop with at least one potentially lethal modified design flaw, and there appears to be no third party testing to validate it. Off Grid 48 is using rubber silicon gaskets in high temperature areas that should be welded. Failure of these gaskets under engine load will do one of three things. One, leak flammable fuels and pyrolysis fumes, creating a fire danger. Two, leak carbon monoxide into the operator area, creating a threat to human life. Three, gas and air can mix in the seal rupture, creating a potential explosion of gases in the filter and tubing. If you've purchased one of these systems, please watch this video to the end and contact me. Federal laws under the Consumer Product Safety Act require manufacturers to tag their products with manufacturer plates, serial numbers, and apply safety labeling when necessary. Everything from ketchup bottles to car seats to cars have identifying markings and safety labeling. Off-Grid 48 does not attach any labeling whatsoever to these flammable devices, and even after being notified, they have refused to correct the situation, flaunting federal law. These are violations of the Consumer Product Safety Act, Section 15, Substantial Product Hazard, and Section 19, Prohibited Acts. It's obvious, obvious that this company is not testing their work in any meaningful way either, and not owning their liability. Upon further investigation, Off-Grid 48's own thermal imaging photos from 2021 show the extreme temperature present in the hot gas exit tubes under only 30 to 40 minutes of blower use. What you have to understand is gasifiers operate with something called turndown ratio. Gas production is proportional to the amount of suction applied to the system. A blower motor produces one unit of fuel per minute, like a car at idle, but an engine suction under load can produce as much as 800% more fuel, like a car going up a steep grade. With that additional fuel production comes a tremendous amount of additional heat released. This additional heat and intense suction will destroy these rubber gaskets over time, leading to system failure. The company's founder, Steve Honks, has been building these machines for six years according to recent online statements, and he also states that if the user doesn't like rubber elbows, the user can upgrade them, meaning it's the user who has to replace his defect, again taking no responsibility for his work. Off-Grid 48 appears to be operating with no business insurance, no bond, no commercial license, and they're not likely zoned for manufacturing at their personal residence. They provided no indemnity to the author despite those terms of service in the book, which also state for educational purposes only. The first edition said no business opportunity seekers and know your stuff. Mr. Honkus doesn't know his stuff. If he wants to manufacture his own unique gasifier design under his own name and liability, that is his choice, but he will not be manufacturing this design ever again. Mr. Honkus has presented himself as a gasifier expert with enough expertise to teach workshops and build machines but it's obvious now that he has been bluffing the whole time. He doesn't appear to have much of any meaningful wood gas fire to engine integration experience or operator runtime, even after this many years. He doesn't know what he doesn't know. He's a danger to his customers. This is a business opportunity seeker making illegal knockoffs that impersonate my book. These gas fires look like the book, but they are not. Who knows how many other flaws are present? Who knows how many of his customers have been or will be affected? Mr. Honkus has been given many chances to correct his behavior, but instead he's taken to the internet to slander my work, spam my comment section, and cry bully of all things. There is an investigation underway to get to the bottom of this. A case is being assembled to present to the U.S. District Court, a federal court, under Section 24. I will be forwarding these findings to the Washington Attorney General and the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Failure to comply is a violation of Section 20 of the CSPA and has fines up to $100,000 per instance, or machine in this case, with a $15 million maximum penalty. Failure to comply can also bring a criminal penalty up to five years in prison under Section 21. If you have purchased one of these gasifiers, please contact the author immediately. You may have a right to refund or settle for damages. It's woodgas at gasifierplans.com. In the subject line, put honkus gasifier. Thank you for watching.